Hey gang, welcome back. Today we are going to do a real time look at um, an ombre. Um, I know I've got a few ombre videos, but I thought I'd do one in real time just because why not? We are using candy floss and sherbet lemon, sherbet and beach house. These are all from the new gel perfection collection. We're going to be using the pink and yellow to create the orange and then the yellow and blue to create the green if you don't know which colours blend to make which colours well maybe reconsider some of your life choices uh, so we are starting with candy flowers um, and then straight away going in with sherbet lemon i can't say that without following it with sherbet don't know why don't know where it's from nowhere um and just pushing that up against it i'm going to take my brush i'm going to use a detailer brush um i'm going to hold it um i'm sort of trying to show you do i get it in shot yeah so i'm holding it vertically straight down not at an angle like you would um a pencil or a pen if, uh, if your year four teacher has permitted you to move on to ink. Um, and then we're just going to start brushing. I started just below the join line um, to start taking the yellow up because I thought I'd done a bit more pink than yellow. So instead of taking that down further, I would start by going up. And then you're going to create your middle colour. <laughs> oh, I'm already sniffing. Um, and then where we've got this orange you'll create sort of two kinds of blend colors we're going to get a pinky orange and then a yellowy orange so once we've got that we can then work on the pinky orange into the pink join and then the yellowy orange into the yellow join oh and then probably the pinky orange into the yellowy orange join uh not gonna lie i was drunk when i was doing this <laughs> why was i drinking it was monday and I was celebrating like the first day being back at work. Um, didn't bode too well for the Tuesday, but uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, if someone wants this again, then I'll be like, just let me down half a bottle of Bailey's and I'll be right with you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, working on the blend of those as they sit for a while, um, you'll notice that the lines we're making with the brush will level out. Um, so if you're only doing a two color ombre, just let it sit for a bit and the lines will level out um, and disappear. Uh, but these will do it while we're working on the next bit, which is the yellow to the blue. When I went to school, actually, we had some fucking old desks they must have been because they still had a little hole in the top right corner for ink pots. <laughs> Probably in quills. But on the right corner, it's not that's very left handist, leftist. Um that would have been really annoying for me. Anyway, uh now doing the yellow into the blue, so I wanted to start taking the yellow down as opposed to the blue up because I didn't want the blue to sort of turn into a green and overpower our yellow. And then you can see you get this green, and again you're gonna get two different greens, a really sort of yellowy lime green, and then um a darker green into the blue so work on each of those sections um, as I say I just wanted to do a real-time one I know that I've got other ombre videos but most of my videos are sped up a bit because I don't want to take up too much of your time uh, so I thought a real-time video of the second coat I speed up because you know we've just watched the first one um, but yeah I thought I'd do a real one all oh, bit of fluff get the fuck out of here um, I found a lot of fluff when I was doing this, probably because I, you know, I wasn't um, maybe being as uh, careful as I normally would because I was all jolly and hey, tipsy. I left a message, a voice message. Should I be talking about what I'm doing right now? No, you can see. I left a voice message um, on a friend, a couple of friends I've got a group chat with of me just going. Vienna waits for you. <laughs> Such a wally. Um, but yeah, I was really, I was really jolly. So that is the first coat, is it? Do I go in and faff a bit more? Mm, no. 
Uh, and then the second coat now, I wouldn't do a second coat on a client. What I'd probably do is maybe a base of white because that's going to make your colours really pop so that you don't have to do a second coat because that's just getting a bit faffy and it's just going to take ages. Whoa, this is only sped up twice. I don't know why it looks like it's sped up a million miles an hour. I must have um, been going relatively fast at normal speed. Uh, so you can see doing the same again if you want to move like I wanted to make there a bit less pink it seemed like I had too much pink so I'd work the orange up a bit more into that um, that's probably why I'm getting um, fluff everywhere where I'm wiping my brush on dry um, kitchen towel um, but yeah you can sort of move the ratios a little bit but obviously you have got the first coat sort of has got your back you know um, any bits that you might miss like when you paint a wall the second coat's gonna get any bits you missed even though you didn't see them after the first coat do you know what I mean um, I'm probably going to film next week's video this week because um, I won't be free next weekend to do editing because it's my birthday on the Sunday the 26th is that Sunday I think so um, and we're having a socially uh, well, a government permitted bubble of um, family round for a barbecue in the hopes the weather is nice. It was really nice yesterday and today it's just peeing down and grey and miserable. Um, but such is England. That's why we talk about the weather all the time. Because we have three seasons in a day and then it's different the next day. Although I can't help but think that when you end up talking to someone, like if you meet a new person and you end up talking about the weather, like certainly in my mind, it must be in theirs that you're like, oh shit, we're talking about the weather. This must be really what we've got fuck all to say to each other. <laughs> you know? Oh, you hear my dog growling? Dex, schmoop, it's a bird, it's a birdies. He's not convinced. <laughs> Such a vicious Labrador. <laughs> um, so, right, let's talk about the nail. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was laughing. I was watching the basement yard again. Um, have a look at their podcasts. They're hilarious. Two like New York guys, uh, Joe and Danny. Joe Santagato. That sounds wank in my accent. Santagato. Hockey sticks. Um, and they just talk about a load of random shit. And I think it's hilarious. Uh, so we are... At the bottom now of our second coat, I think that's about as <laughs> far as I was uh, willing to go with that because I'm going to top it uh, with Opal Quartz, one of the new, oh, look at the fucking state of my nails, but look at this, it's so beautiful. I wonder why girls prefer like a more sort of in tune or attuned to glitter and sparkly things one of my clients is a biology teacher she said that men have less cones or something like that in their eye maybe that's why they're missing out on seeing the true amazingness of hollow <gasps> look at it so i like each section of the ombre to be a seamless blend but not go too much into the next section so i want pink into orange orange into yellow i don't want pink that sort of ends up working its way all the way down the nail which is why i do it separately you can use an ombre brush um this is just the way i like to do it i find the detail brush going from side to side just works better for me you do you i'll do me and if you don't like it well then your own fucking business um but yeah have a go i hope you like this video um no update just yet on diamond glitter shipping gel perfection shipping but i will keep you posted for those in canada and america subscribe to my channel for lots more videos if you like this one give it a thumbs up apparently it helps me and i will see you in the next one or oh, i talked to you with diamond glass bye bye bye